welcome again to my YouTube channel. You have selected the Crosshair V Formula Z if you have came from my previous video. But if you have um, just suddenly stumbled upon this video on YouTube, uh, you're welcome to watch the rest of the video. So here we have the motherboard box. It's written uh, Crosshair V Formula Z as normal. Um, some information here at the back Supreme FX3, uh, Extreme D uh, Engine Digi Plus 2, Game First 2, Multi GPU, GPU stuff, um, some technical specifications, and your um, IO ports down here. So here we go. Let's open up. Yep, I don't have it in the box anymore. I'm just going to show you the box because you are very concerned about the box. <laughs> So Supreme FX3 Supreme Sound, uh, Extreme Digi Plus 2, Game First 2 technology, this one is something I really like and it has proven to be very helpful once you, um, well for me I had to get it um, configured first when it before it became successful, alright? So here we have the motherboard out of the box. I'm just going to remove the plastic cover first. I'm obviously doing a voiceover now, but it doesn't really matter as long as I guide you through it. It's a really beautiful motherboard, I have to say. Um, we'll start off with the accessory box first. I had quite a, a bit of a hard time to open it. Come on, Farhan. Oh, oh, we're not done yet. There you go. Just push it to the back a bit. Yeah. All right. So now we have the Asus um, ROG I'm Gaming Do Not Disturb doorknob sign, which is pretty handy. And we've got the SATA cable labels for you to organize your um, hard drives or SSDs. And you've got the IO backplate, which has some squishy stuff, and it's electromagnetic um, shielding. We've got a which one? Which one? Okay, so that is actually an ROG Connect cable. I'm st actually still not sure, but I think it is because it's white and there's a white USB port at the back. And you have your, um, that's easy for you to connect your LED um, front panels, uh, audio, and uh, you have your crossfire bridge, another crossfire bridge, and we have the SLI bridge. And that's the user guide. Uh, which I have read thoroughly actually because I really want to learn about this new board and those are SATA cables and quick start guide you, you can ignore the quick start guide and you can go back to the um, user guide which is really pretty actually and you have the um, driver disc and a sticker down there again for your forehead <laughs> remove the box and we are going back to the motherboard again my god it just looks so beautiful just gonna take it out being very careful at it putting it back and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the motherboard as far as I know I'm not I don't know everything about this board yet so there you have it all right fellas let's start off with the bottom part of this board I have to be honest with you I don't um, some of these features of on the board I don't really know of so I don't know everything uh, well let's just go cowboy on this <laughs> um, you can see the capacitors there's uh, there's all they're all 5k ch uh, capacitors and this one is a big capacitor and it's being shielded by a tan line there which actually lights up 
red when you have it turned on um, AFP, SPDIF, optional fan number one and optional f uh, temperature probe you can put plug it in there TPM and um, TB header uh, USB one port uh, front panel connectors mind you and a USB another one and this is a direct key if you have and this is a, a fast boot uh, on and off if you have it on especially you're using Windows 8 uh, you have a, a really fast boot and if you have it turned off um, it will like be normal I guess we'll see I haven't tested it yet um, here's the chassis fan header 1 and 2 and I don't know what this is and the two pin right there is the direct key which um, in the future if there is any cases that support a, a button on the front panel so you can just pr press it there and it will go directly to your uh, BIOS or UF UEFI or UFI as the Matsale will call it <laughs> and here's your SATA ports uh, the the SATA ports are controlled by well four on the top here oh no so, sorry six on the top here are controlled by this south bridge and um, two the two um, down here are controlled by uh, if I'm not mistaken it's the as media um, com correct me if I'm wrong I'm, I have no problem with that and on the left you can see the PCI ports is one two three four uh, although it supports three um not sure it's gonna support four because they already support three right there and uh, here's a molex pin power connector so you can provide extra juice and stability for your uh, graphic cards here is another fan header for uh, the i guess it's easier for the back of the case i mean for the rear fan to connect to and I'll show you the IO ports later and uh, you can see here the heatsink for the MOSFETs and the capacitors and the, the whatever that is okay here you go here's the RAM slots color coordinated and it's written there um, A, A and B, B and 1 and 2 and your um, USB 3 port your 24 pin port and these are capacitors if I'm not mistaken for the RAM for more stability and uh, your start and reset button your um, Q code um, display and oh I forgot about that one already but uh, I guess you can still check it online more fan headers you have a lot of fan headers uh, here's uh, oh okay you can see there it already has a 8 pin CPU power connector that is a 4 pin CPU power connector which actually provides more uh, juice for your processor giving it more stability and so okay we'll get to the IO ports right away all right now so here you can see there are quite a few ports uh, it's easy for you um, you have right here is the combo ps2 port and you have one two um three four five six seven uh, seven um okay this one uh, acts as a usb 2.0 port uh, it is actually for your rg connect but um if you don't have any uh, of the ex external RG connect you can use it as a normal USB 2.0 port so there's like eight total of um, USB 2.0 ports your e SATA ports there are two there and uh, you have one two three four USB 3.0 ports you have your um, audio port right here for well the easiest one and um, is the uh, reset BIOS button and here's the IROG connect button and you have a uh, audio ports right here which is controlled by the Supreme FX and you don't have to worry about noise because it's already being shielded as well uh, 
as uh, the tan line that I showed you um, just now so and you have the um, LAN port here which supports the um, game first technology which will prioritize your packets if you are gaming so you won't um, it will greatly reduce your latency uh, your ping and let you kill more people faster and more efficiently all right so now i'm going to show you briefly on how to install the processor and uh, in this case it's the am3 plus processor it's from amd and the model of the processor is fx 8320 so first you just remove the list this latch here and let it hang over there <laughs> and you just take the processor and you can see here there is a golden triangle you put it right there okay there you go that's easy as that and you just push it down and lock it into place voila it's so easy Okay, so I have installed my motherboard into my case and this is how it looks like. It, it is an ATX motherboard sized, so it's a bit long, but it's okay for my case. Uh, you just need to make sure it will fit your case. And I'll show you. This, uh, the, my computer is in standby mode and the motherboard has lights on, so here you go. There you go. There's the start button, uh, start button there, and the reset button. And moving on down here, you can see the the light shielding that are, the LED light shielding that I was talking to you about. There you go. Looks very nice in the dark. But I always have my um, case light up, so. It's not really a thing, it's just the shielding that I'm um, concerned about. So that wraps up for my video today. I hope, I really do hope that you enjoyed my video of these three unboxings. If you have not watched any of it, you can still click it here, alright? And uh, do not forget to like my video or dislike, uh, comment on the comment section below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will still have more videos coming and as always, air of the geeks baby.